Get over here! Let's talk about gaming displays, both for desktops and for laptops. So over the past few years, we've had a lot of companies push for better gaming displays, right? We've had high resolution, we've had better colors, faster response time, faster refresh rates, and it's a good push for that tech, but it's always been done in this type of panel, a matte finish or like a textured anti-glare coating that's put on top of the display itself or on top of the panel. And these are nice looking screens, but I saw something better. So uh, these are both the Eve Spectrum. This is a retail unit that I bought earlier this year. It's a good screen, 4K, 144 Hertz. Really nice to look at, nice to play games on, but this also made by Eve. Well, this is like an engineering sample of something they want to make. This is the same display panel, but it's an untextured glossy finish on the top. Now, the moment I pulled this thing out of the box, I was like, this is so much nicer to look at, so much better, like a way better visual experience than the regular retail unit. The moment you put up anti-glare or matte finish on a product, you're basically putting like a diffusion layer on top of the screen. So you're having, like you're reducing the brightness, you're reducing the contrast, your colors are more muted, your sharpness is lost. Like this definitely just becomes a little bit more fuzzy or like mistier because it's got this fuzzy layer on the top. This is just, it's better. Visually, it's empirically a better experience, but you now have to take into consideration reflections. So. It should be pretty obvious in that camera, but in case it's not, I brought out this big boy, the guy that, this used to be my old videos, I miss him. And on the regular matte finish screen, it's this diffused glow from the light stick. But on here, it's like, not quite a mirror, but it's much more reflective. Now, I think that difference is the main reason why companies have pushed for an anti-reflection coating, right? The thing that I noticed the most, like outside of games and videos, was text. Text is so much sharper without that matte diffusion layer. And it's especially noticeable on a 4K panel like these, right? It's just, there's a ton of pixels. There's a lot of detail you can have, but the moment you put on that anti-glare coating, there's a bit of blooming. There's a bit of just like diffusion of that image going through that diffusion layer. But reflections, right? Now, if you think about kind of everyday tech, like phones, tablets, uh, some laptops like MacBooks, like every MacBook, every current MacBook has a glossy screen. They're all using glossy screens because that gives you the best visual experience. And it is so weird to me, so weird to me that when it comes to gaming screens, there's no option. Like how has that not been a consideration over the past few years? Everyone's been making matte gaming screens. And I wouldn't even be surprised if you got better performance, like player performance, with the glossy panel. Like it's just more contrast, that separation between light and dark. How could that not help you play better in, in games, right? If you're playing competitively. Now I got to talk about reflections because reflections, that's the consideration, right? Even though it looks better and it is a nicer visual experience, are reflections a big deal? So I've been testing this screen in the studio in various locations, as well as bring it home because I just wanted to see what this thing played like, right? My overarching thought is that this, the, the whole thing about reflections is a non-issue. And if you're wearing a pure white outfit and you're playing in a room with like all these windows and you have no way of controlling the light, then sure, if that's your life, then you're gonna go with, you're gonna do better with this screen, like a regular matte finish. But if you are a gamer and you're playing games in the comfort of your own space, you tend to have control over light, right? You tend to have control over how you tilt your screen or like if you have blinds or whatever, and it's just so much better. So if you had the option, I think most people would prefer the glossy panel. Now, the elephant in the room is the topic of Eve as a company. Now they sent me this engineering sample, but just because they sent it to me doesn't make them immune to my criticism. So I bought this with my own money. This was like 800 US dollars. Uh, the purchase experience was less than ideal. And they unfortunately have developed this less than ideal reputation where they promise delivery dates and they promise things and they tend to they're they're short in terms of like delivery time and you know making products available when they say they're going to be available and also they've had issues with refunding pre-orders this product does not exist yet it's not a retail product that you can go out and buy eve wants to make it and i think they're looking for kind of consumer feedback as to whether or not they should go forward with it I think they should, and I'll put a link in the description as to like how they're gonna organize the manufacturing of this thing, but would I pre-order it? 
Probably not. Like maybe if I was really hungry for this tech and like I've always wanted a glossy panel for my gaming setup, sure, go for it. You'll be the first guys to get it. But for like most people, I'd wait. I'd wait because their track record has not been good. I would go to their website though. I'd vote, let them know that I want them to make it, but I would wait and not pre-order when it does come available right away. Now I do think that if you're looking at this and you're like, you want it, I think other companies will adopt it. There's no way that, you know, Aorus or LG or Asus is looking at this and be like, nah, we don't want that tech. Like it's really good. I think it'll come into the market and kind of into the fold of gaming products in the near future. I don't know, probably a year, year and a half, we'll see a good number of them. That's just a guess. But laptops, dude, this is what, this would be awesome. This kind of panel, glossy on a gaming laptop, that's the good stuff. Okay, there you have it, the, uh, glossy non-textured display from eve spectrum hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs if you liked it subs if you loved it see you guys next time